Oh my gosh, I've been sitting here trying to get these guns for 17 rounds. Are you serious? These guns are more rare than frostbite? Hey guys, welcome back to Edge Master Gaming, your home for zombie survival tips and tricks, as well as fun gaming overall. Today, I'm going to be going over the most recent law enforcement update on Project Lazarus. It includes new guns as well as some new animation framework that Logitech implemented. As always, I tried to capture as much as I could in this update, but without further ado, let's get started. First up, we have the new Less Lethal Shotgun CQB, which stands for Close Quarters Battle. From what I've read, this gun is used by law enforcement and military professionals with the intent to prevent lethal injury. It's used in situations like crowd control and riots. Even though this gun uses less lethal ammunition like beanbags and rubber buckshots, it can still fire standard ammunition. With that being said, out of the box, it can hold 7 shots at the ready and 56 in reserves. It doesn't hinder your movement speed and can one shot up to round 19. When packed, this gun becomes blunt force trauma and carries the use of force module where it can deal 500% damage against stunned. First shot fires a beanbag round that stuns on impact. You'll notice here that the beanbag round is ready as the bottom of the screen says warning shot. When used properly, this round will stun any zombie for a second or two. Now let's watch this new weapon in action. This gun is basically the Remington with rubber buckshots. Things that you should know is that the beanbag round can one shot up to round 24. Beyond that it will just continue to stun all of its victims. In addition, the buckshots themselves will one shot up to round 28. Overall this gun is for the early to mid rounds. I highly recommend that you don't rely on this weapon for any support. You can't hit multiple targets so it will be easy for you to get overrun. If you want to keep it in your loadout however, you're simply just going to have to pair it up with a very solid weapon just like I did here with the AK. Next up we have the MGL LTL which stands for the Multi Grenade Launcher Less Than Lethal Anti-Riot. This is an American semi-auto less lethal launcher that fires rubber grenades and it's been added to the mystery box. Right out of the box it has 6 at the ready and 54 in reserves. Like its more lethal version it has a beaning ability that could one shot up to round 18. However, this weapon has another ability which can stun the zombies on impact. When packing this weapon, it becomes Martial Law, which carries the excessive force module and can deal 500 damage against stunned. Last shot fires a crowd dispersal rubber balls round. You can tell when the last shot is ready as you'll see the words no more warnings on the bottom of the screen. Now let's see this weapon in action. Things that you should know is that this weapon can one shot up to round 39. Beyond that, you can continue to stun all zombies with a shot to the head or body. This weapon, like the other less lethal CQB, is for the early to the mid rounds. My recommendations for this weapon are the same when it comes to not relying on this weapon for any support and pairing it up with a more solid weapon in your loadout. I did find out though that the last dispersal shot can hit multiple targets, but I wouldn't trust it. All in all, these two newly released weapons I feel are almost like joke weapons for Project Lazarus, which ironically were released on April Fool's Day. The next portion of this update is the weapon framework. Logitech implemented framework for adding simple, third person animations for weapon sprinting, reloading, etc. Similar to the knife animation but more fleshed out. The basic firing animation applies to all guns. Specific animations like reloading will take some time to be added for every gun. So guys, essentially what this means is that now you can see different animations of other players. Like here you can see this player's arm raised while sprinting. Now because he's holding a handgun, you can see the animation is more realistic instead of him just holding the gun at one fixed angle. Now here we have him performing a reload. And finally here's one with him holding the new LTL. 
Man, that looks cool. Here's a list of all the guns that Logitech has updated so far. This list can also be found on the Project Lazarus Discord, and the link will be in the description box below. Also part of this update was that the Tech 9 actually had its sprint animation modified from this to this. Moving on, there was an update to the Remington, where Logitech thought that it was weird that a packed shotgun was as accurate as a sniper rifle. Because of this, he nerfed it by increasing the PAP aim spread to 2. <laughs> Next up on the list, there were two weapons that actually had their damage buffed, the crossbow and the milkor. I'm sure that we can all agree that the crossbow will forever be one of the most powerful weapons in Project Lazarus that nobody wants. But hey, maybe I'll decide to do a high round survivor challenge with it one day. Next on the list is No Weapon, where Logitech fixed a critical bug that occurred when downing and then getting back up while having no weapon. That must have been interesting. I wish that I would have captured that footage to see what it looked like. Second to last on the list is Graduation, where Logitech fixed a wall that caused visual clipping. Well that's pretty self explanatory so let's move on. Finally on Research, Logitech adjusted invisible walls in the security room again because someone found a way to wedge themselves into a gap in there. Not sure where this is located, I'm assuming it's by the chair that was just placed in the corner of that room. If anyone knows, please comment down below. Well guys, that's gonna do it for this short video. Let me know in the comments also what you guys think of these newest weapons. You guys are awesome and thank you for supporting me. Please do check out the playlist in the outro for more Project Lazarus content. And as always guys, remember to have fun, take care, and God bless.